Hi, and welcome back, PW Dirtbags. Great to be here again. And uh, as you know, we're doing the uh, Diamond Kinetic series with this one. And it's a four part series out of the gate uh, that we're doing to uh, start the education and the empowerment process of what Diamond Kinetics is, if you aren't familiar with them and, and who they are. All right, a little bit of who they are and stuff like that. So as you know, last uh, episode, it was uh, myself and CJ Handron, the CEO and co-founder of Diamond Kinetics. And uh, this time, obviously, the, the in our minds, the right evolution of this series is uh, to bring on Jeff Schult. And, uh, you know, we're talking about the chief uh, commercial uh, officer of Diamond Kinetics. And uh, we're going to educate you on what he does and, and what they look at as a company for their vision, their growth, their you know, the strategic planning at the end of the day of, of how to get from where they are now out to all avenues of baseball and softball from the pros all the way down to the amateur levels. So, you know, Jeff, it's great to have you on with us. I uh, appreciate you coming on and spending a few minutes with us and helping educate the audience on, uh, you know, some of the strategic business part of it. And, uh, you know what, I'm going to step back and uh, I know you've got a layout for us. And again, this is what we're talking about at the end of the day, whether it's the baseball, the softball and our sweet little swing tracker right there on the knob. So, and, and again, as uh, Jeff will maybe be able to have a bit of time to explain on this one, uh, they're evolving with that all the time. So again, Jeff, great to have you. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, Kirk, thank you very much for having me. Um, so Obviously, you had an opportunity to talk to CJ uh, ahead of this. So I'm sure he probably took you through a lot of the uh, origin story of Diamond Kinetics and kind of high-level strategy. I thought maybe today um, I'd, I'd delve into kind of partnerships and, and what that means and has meant for us in terms of helping Diamond Kinetics get where we are now a little over seven years in and, and kind of where it's, it's going in the future. So um, if, if that fits with, with what you'd like, I can, I can certainly kind of highlight that a bit. Yeah, no, that sounds great. And, and it makes sense. Uh, help help get this audience to feel like they're part of the team, part of the family, or, or just, just making a decision on why having that diamond connects, the pitch tracker, the swing tracker can help in their overall player development, no matter where they are, Jeff. So, hey, let's go ahead and jump right in then. Uh, you know, you, you talked to me a little bit off air about their, your complementary technologies. Um, expand on that a little bit and, and what your thought process is with that. Yeah, sure. Um, so being in the business that we're in, I mean, ultimately, we're trying to help players get better and achieve whatever their goals are in the sport, uh, whether that be play at the highest level or whether that make their high school varsity squad, uh, whatever kind of their ultimate goal is. And in, in doing that, we can't do everything ourselves uh, from a technology standpoint. So really the first category of partnerships that we have had and, and, and pursued are those of complementary technologies. And, and maybe I'll, I'll highlight two of them that are our most recent. Um, the first one is, is with a company called Reboot. Uh, Reboot is actually uh, headed up by the former head of biomechanics for the LA Dodgers. And um, after he left the organization, he's an expert, he's a biomechanist, um, PhD, and he really is an expert at understanding body movement and how body movement translates to either throwing a ball or swinging a bat. Um, and obviously with, with smart balls and sensors on bats, we don't know what the body's doing, but it's an integral piece. So, so we partnered with Reboot, we actually announced it in August. Um, and what they will enable us to do is use video that is captured within either the pitch tracker or swing tracker apps and give you a, a very accurate, very usable biomechanics analysis of what your body's doing and how that relates to, again, the swinging of the bat or the throwing of a ball. So partnership with them, we're excited to bring that to market actually uh, a little bit later this spring. Uh, we'll start with pitching and we'll roll into hitting for both baseball and softball. So that's a, that's a good example of one. Um, and one we're pretty excited about because obviously that's integral to hitting or throwing a baseball or softball. Huge, huge for sure. I mean, that's, that's, well, those are the types of partnerships you want to be able to have in that. And, and it's great to see right from the top, those pro teams buying in and, and getting an understanding and excitement for being a part of the Diamond Kinetics and what you guys are trying to build and trying to be a partner, a part of that growth with you. So there's no question about it. Um, I know there is one uh, recently that you just finished uh, mm -hmm. with, uh, that's pretty cool, uh, virtual reality and uh, win out of Texas, I believe their uh, head office is, but uh, maybe you can expand on that uh, little venture as well. 
Yeah, so this one's a little more recent. Uh, so okay. in reality, uh, we've been friends with them for probably, I don't know, two, three years. Uh, they're, they're a tech company based in Austin, Texas, um, and they deal in virtual reality. So one of the more interesting things they do is use virtual reality using an Oculus Quest headset, which you've probably seen advertised, uh, and they can train pitch recognition, uh, among other things. But one of the things that in, in bringing that product to market that they heard from their users is, I, I really want to be able to swing physical bat, not just click a button on a, a handheld device to, that says, hey, I'm swinging now. So we've got a, a, a very nice little beta program set up with them that will start the middle of January, where uh, when reality users that are part of their service will have the opportunity to use Swing Tracker and actually swing a live bat, dry swing, not hit a ball, but um, take a dry swing and that be the trigger to say, yes, I wanted to swing at that pitch or no, I didn't. So uh, using virtual reality, but still tying in the physical world and the act of swinging a bat as the decision point of, yeah, my intent was to swing and hit that ball. Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> I can't even hardly wrap my head around it. And that, and again, that's why it's so, so vital that we're doing these series and, and fortunate enough to be having people like yourselves and the DK rest of the team on with us as well, because it, it really is amazing. It, it's overwhelming. You said you've been going for about seven years now with DK and, and just the, probably the evolution that you've seen in those seven years, most of us probably couldn't even wrap our heads around what you've seen and, and being involved with. So I can imagine your day-to-day -day life must be super exciting. And, and just to be able to put those pieces together are huge. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun. And you know, those are two pretty good examples of um, we're not experts in virtual reality. We're not experts in biomechanics, but they're complementary technologies that again, can be brought to bear again, for the benefit of the player, the benefit of their parents or their coaches, to help them get better and, and solve problems and, and fill gaps in, in kind of their, their life within the sport. So we're happy to work with, with guys like that. Um, we work very collaboratively with them and uh, it is a lot of fun, I, I will admit. It's a lot of fun to do those things and pull those things together. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can only imagine for sure. And, and staying on that theme. So, okay, those are some of your, your present projects and, and growth that you've been working on. You know, you've also, obviously you've had those seven years. So what type of programs are already connected and involved in and utilizing the diamond kinetics themselves personally, but also for that enhancement of player development, like you said. Yeah, so they, they, they really fall into two other types of buckets. So the, 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 the first bucket are teams and programs. Um, so you could think about that from the highest level of the game. We work with MLB organizations. We work with collegiate programs all over the country and down into individual travel organizations. Uh, and again, the primary goal of each of those and how they're using our technology and how we work with them, it's all about player development. A Little bit of player evaluation, but really about player development. Uh, so if you think about the ability to kind of identify things that maybe your eyes can't see, um, that could be a gap or an opportunity for a player to get a little better, um, and then to set goals and track progress against those goals using key metrics within our individual products that would be indications that that player is getting better at that particular area. Um, I'll give you a, a really good example within Swing Tracker. Um, so we launched a little over a year ago, something called Swing Fingerprint. So you can think about Swing Fingerprint as a hot and cold zone, three-dimensionally. You can think about it, actually, if you remember the old Rubik's Cube, uh, you can think about a three-dimensional Rubik's Cube of the strike zone um, and where a player is strong versus where they're not as strong in terms of kind of in, out, up, down, forward and deep in the strike zone. Um, and that's a really good example. It's a very visual way to help a player understand where do I need to develop? So, hey, maybe I can't hit that low outside pitch. So I need to work on that, but also to understand where their strength is. So I'm really good with balls up. So when I can, when the count allows me to, I'm going to hunt balls up in the strike zone because I know I can do damage there. So it kind of goes both ways. So it's a bit of a plate approach application, and it's also a little bit of a player development application. But that's one example of many within our products uh, and how we kind of help players get better. But that, that's kind of that, that first bucket or kind of teams and programs. Um, the second bucket really uh, falls into organizing bodies and people in the business of player evaluation. So you can think about organizations and partners of ours like USA Baseball. We work with the national teams and we're part of the prospect development pipeline, which is absolutely an evaluation mechanism for 
high school players that are, are likely to be selected in the MLB draft. Um, you could think about partners like Babe Ruth League and Ripken and Pony, which again are organizing bodies, uh, much more of a recreational player, but all the same, they wanna get better and kind of continue in the sport. So, so we, we partner with them. Uh, and then in the evaluation business, you've got Prospect Wire, of course, um, and others like Perfect Game and Baseball Factory that um, are, are definitely in the player evaluation quantification of their abilities uh, for scouting and recruiting purposes. So all of those Diamond Kinetics partners in some cases for uh, many years, uh, but that's really the second area, kind of the uh, you know, organizing bodies and people in the evaluation business. Yeah. And, and make no mistake about it, dirtbags. That's what uh, really stood out to us as uh, J.D. Vidal, their Southeast uh, business manager, first got hooked up with us on the podcast and different things way last spring. And, and it sent us uh, fortunate enough to be able to utilize, you know, the uh, pitch tracker and the swing tracker over those. And, and that's what really blew us away was the actual player development that this tool can be, but also your price points. You, you, you know, we're not going to talk about that, but your price points are right in line in my mind that, that any player out there in baseball or the softball industries can get your hands on this at a, at a more than affordable price. And, and what you're going to gain from this is unbelievable. It's it, even though I, I don't want to, I guess step on your feet or whatever and I or say something I shouldn't but but in my mind I look at it and I go even though you're not a partner with every individual DK you actually are you're you're providing the potential to be a partner with every single player out there in fastball or baseball if they go ahead and they go ahead and get into the pitch tracker or swing tracker or the combination of that because what you've created is is truly a player development tool that, like you said, it's amazing. It goes up to the cloud. It comes right back down onto your phone. And there it is. I see myself in 3D images of my swing. I can see now what a coach says if I'm, I'm long to the ball or I'm short on extension and follow through. I, I can actually visually see it. And, and man, to, to change how you do it is, is unbelievable. There's no question about that. And so, you know, like you were saying, Jeff, those companies are great evaluating tools that you don't have to do like DK I, I'm talking about. So I'm talking about perfect game and prospect wire and, and PBR probably down the road and stuff like that. But what you've created for the individual player and the parent or the coaches and stuff like that of all organizations is also evaluating, self-evaluating. You don't have to necessarily be a part of one of those great travel teams or or a showcase. You're, you're absolutely right. And, and that, that really brings, uh, brings me on to kind of, it's not a category of partners, but it's the most important partner we have, which is with the individual player and their parents or grandparents, aunt, uncle. Um, because ultimately, the reason we started this organization was to help players get better and achieve their goals in the sport, whatever those are. And as you know, as, as most people know, ultimately that comes down to the individual player putting in the work and making the commitment. Um, there's no magic bullet. I wish there was, uh, but there isn't. Uh, it takes time and hard work. Uh, so we, we are partners and, and like to think of ourselves as a partner for every one of those individual athletes. And we're bringing a technology to them. We're bringing content and drills to them from USA Baseball, uh, ultimately so that they can put the work in themselves, whether it's with a team or whether it's in the backyard and, you know, or in the garage. And, you know, what we've all lived through over the last nine months with, with coronavirus, um, you know, in many cases, those players had to just do it in the backyard, do it in the garage, because organized team practices, you know, got put on hold. And it's still a challenge in various parts of the country. So we, we look at them and say, we're trying to be a really good partner to them to help them and not only make this technology available to them, but help them answer the question, okay, what do I do now? Yeah. Our, my barrel speed for a 14U player is below average. What do I do? Well, here's content in Swing Tracker from, you know, the best of the best drills from USA Baseball to help you actually get better at that. And very soon, here's a biomechanics analysis from Reboot that'll tell you, hey, you know what? This is why you're out of sequence. Like you're swinging with your arms. You need to, you need to engage your lower half. So those really, that's the ultimate partners that matter to us and the individual players. 
And you're right on when you say about providing that content back to you as an individual out there, your son, your daughter, yourselves and stuff like that. Jeff couldn't be more true. Uh, you know, Braden and I have used it and stuff like that. And we've, we've read through those uh, information and it, it's, it is in layman's terms. That's the great thing. It's from great baseball minds out there but they've been able to bring it down to the everyday baseball language. So it doesn't overwhelm you. It puts you on the right path and it helps your growth potential. And, and that's what really, really impressed us as well with that, Jeff, and a fantastic job on that. And I realize that that's right. Like most companies in your position, you have to do this. Yes, you buy the product. Okay. And yes, you have to have a subscription and stuff like that. But again, that's another great quality that I can't speak highly enough about the Diamond Kinetics family is they are not in your pocket stealing from you. It's, it's affordable. They, just like Jeff said, I couldn't be more honest in it. They, it's affordable because they want to truly see you develop. And you know, if you're watching this program, that that's what we're all about. We're about bringing people out and educating you and empowering you with companies or products or people that truly care about your baseball or softball journeys. And I think, you know, listening to CJ, listening to Jeff here and on down the road with Casey Roche and Kyle Bennett in the next upcoming episodes, you're going to continue realizing that. So, you know, anything else before we have to wrap up, Jeff, that kind of stands out or you feel that's uh, certainly should be something that they're aware of? Yeah, I, I, one one point to kind of build on what you just said about kind of the affordability. That was not by accident. When, when we started the organization, we made a very conscious effort to make our products and our services as affordable as possible to reach and help the broadest art audience. Of course, we're running a business and the revenue we make actually helps us make other things and solve other problems in the sports. But we were very, very conscious and did that very intentionally to make this something not just available for the most advantaged players or families, but to make it affordable for as many people as possible. So that was very intentional. And, and I'm not going to dwell on that anymore, man. It's great having you on. It's great to be able to break that down for us. I appreciate it. Dirtbags out there, diamondkinetics.com. Uh, we're partnering with them on selling the uh, pitch tracker and the swing tracker as well. You can go to Dirtbag Baseball Nation and get a hold of it and stuff like that. However, we can get these into your hands and get you moving in the right direction. We're not just about selling the products, it's about selling the product and then post post and continuing in that journey and stuff like that. And so, you know, Jeff, I can't thank you enough for coming on. It was just, you guys are moving in the right direction. I love it. I love being part of this series with you guys. And I can, I, I can feel, I don't know if it's the passion, I, it, the passion's there, but I can feel the calmness in how you relate it, which tells me that you're educated, you're confident and you're, you believe in your product as you should, but you believe in it for the right reasons, not just to sell it. Yeah, that's that's absolutely true. Like we all, we're all deeply involved in passionate baseball from early on in our childhood. So if, if in some way this is some small thing that we can give back to the game and, and and keep a kid in the game a little bit longer because of the life lessons they get from being in the game, that's great. Like that's just that's gift with purchase as far as we're concerned personally. It's one of those priceless moments, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So on that note, Dirtbags, uh, we're going to be back here next. We're going to go on with Co Casey Roche, uh, Northeast uh, business manager for them. Co Casey and I are going to be talking about the swing tracker part of it. And uh, we're going to be, uh, you know what, educating and empowering you so you start to understand, see it, the simplicity of it, but yet the complexity of it, <laughs> if that's the right way of saying it, Jeff. So we're excited about that next one. As always, we love you as being a part of the nation and, and your, your passion for baseball and softball. And you know what, watching when we have people like Jeff and CJ and the rest of the Diamond Kinetics team and everybody else that we do these series with. So again, We'll be right back here on the next episode and, and we're looking forward to it. Let's keep growing. Let's keep evolving on our understanding of what Diamond Kinetics is bringing in the baseball and the softball worlds. And in the meantime, you know what time of day it is. It's time to get up, get after it, and get dirty. <laughs>